Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. You know, if you've been duck hunting for more than five minutes, I guarantee you, you have either, either heard, know about, or have what's known as Texas rigs for your decoys. Guarantee it, you know about it. But if you don't, I'm going to show you something here in a minute about Texas rigs and something that may just be even possibly a little bit better. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay guys, so if by chance you've never heard of a Texas rig, this right here is the standard Texas rig. This is the, the one you're going to see the most often. It's four decoys. What you're going to see is a loop on one end, a barrel swivel clip that slides through in the middle to attach to your decoy, front or back, depending on how you want your decoy to sit, and usually an egg weight or a bank runner weight or some type of weight at the end. You throw your decoys out, line drops through, your loop is about right, right above the keel. So when you go to pick it up, just reach in there with your finger, pick, the, pick it up, clip it to your carabiner, throw it over your back or just drag it alongside of you, and you get back to and put them in the bags. That is the Texas rig. Great, efficient, it's great at deploying. I love them. You deploy faster, pick up faster, store them better, and they're virtually, and I say virtually, tangle free because of the either using the five, four to 500 pound monofilament or PVC type line. But I've got something I think is a little bit better. And that is a new type of weight. Hang tight, I'll show you. This is the new weight I'm telling you about. It's called the duck feet anchor because it kind of looks like a duck foot, doesn't it? But this anchor made by the duck feet decoy anchor company, which is also a part of the waterfowl company, both of them are located right here in my hometown of Sumter, South Carolina. Daryl Newman who is an accomplished duck caller and a very skilled duck call maker, came up with this idea of the duck feet decoy anchor. Now, I'm going to show you how to use this and still use it very much like a Texas rig. But getting back to the, tex the traditional Texas rig, they are generally anywhere from two, two foot long till maybe five feet. I don't believe I've ever seen one pre-made over five feet. Now you can make your own however long you want. I have some down here on the floor that are almost 10 feet. The problem is they get tangled up at the bottom. And that is a problem with, with them. The longer the line you go, the, the more of a bigger chance that it's going to get tangled up. Now they're easy to pull apart. Lines don't get all that much of a mess, but it's still a little aggravating in the pre-dawn hours. But that's the problem you have with the traditional Texas rigs. With these weights, you can still have that long line and still hunt not only shallow water, say 10 inches of water. You got ducks that are in what we call feed water, so they're in 10 inches and they're sitting there feeding. Or they may be in a loafing area, which may have you know five or six feet of water, or maybe even more. So you might want longer lines. So what do you do? Do you carry longer lines with you along with your two to three foot Texas rigs? Or you just always have 10 foot Texas rigs on there and get in a mess. So what do you do? How do you change them out? You have extra decoys for hunting deeper water and decoys for hunting shallow water? Well, if you're on a budget and you can only have one decoy, then put them on these rigs. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna build one for you and show you how to do it and then let you, let you decide. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, if you can see right here, uh, I went ahead and put a loop on one end of the line. I have a, this is a PVC line. It's pretty stiff. And uh, you can get it uh, just about anywhere that you buy um, decoy weights and, and whatnot. But I've uh, used a crimp, uh, put a, a loop on one end. And then what I do is I take my barrel swivel and uh, clip 
and I, I'm going to put it at the other end. Or that's going to come up just like that. Once I get that done, now my line, this line is approximately 10 foot, uh, give or take a few min a few inches. Now what I'm going to do on this decoy anchor is you see these two holes right here. I'm going to thread bottom or top, top to bottom. It really doesn't matter, but I'm going to thread the line through this. And there you go. It's there. It's not going anywhere. The only way it's going to move is, well, if I move it. I think you kind of figure out where we're going with this. I'm going to take another crimp right here. And I'm going to put the crimp on. Whoops. I hope, I hope to put the crimp on. There we go. And then I'm going to make me another loop. Okay, so I got another loop. Now, very important right here, take your tag in, unless you want to trim it off, just make it just a little bit outside of the crimp, like that. <clears throat> take your crimping tool, go ahead and crimp it down. If you don't have a crimping tool, you can use a hammer or a vise squish it in there and there you go there's your weight that's at the bottom where you got another loop now you can tie a knot in here if you want but um, those are some pretty big holes and you'd have to have a, a pretty big knot to keep them from sliding out and I think uh, I think this uh, the crimp, see the crimp's not gonna, not gonna go in there, and it'll keep it from sliding out and losing your weight. Well, stay tuned. We're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab a decoy, uh, put it on, and I'm gonna step outside, and I'm gonna show you how it works. Okay, guys, uh, I'm outside of the shed. I was gonna head to the little pond we got. Now it may look sunny right now, but back behind me is some storm clouds that uh, don't look pretty good at all. And that is in the direction where our little pond is, where I like to go out and test things out sometimes. So with the traditional Texas rig, again, like I was saying, you could be hunting water one day, especially if you're a public duck hunter, hunting water one day, a feed site, that may be eight to 10 inches. The next day, you're having to be pushed out to maybe an loafing area or resting area that's going to be maybe five, maybe six, or even more feet. So what do you do? Do you carry extra lines with you? Or do you have decoys just for that? You never know what's going to happen until you get out there. You don't have a clue. So with this, with the decoy, this duck feet decoy anchor, you can literally put eight, nine, close to 10 feet of line on it and not worry about it tangling and deploy your rigs as such. So here, as you can see, the anchor is right up next to the, right up next to the, to the loop, right up next to the decoy. But if I'm hunting eight to 10 inches of water, I drag it out a little bit, there we go. Now you say, well, what about this excess line? Well, let me explain something. If a duck can see that excess line, he's close enough to shoot. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. And if you've got to go deeper, all you're doing is just pulling on the weight and letting it go. As a decoy is floating, you pick it up by the loop, let it drop, okay? Hit your carabiner and go on back to your boat or get back to the shoreline or wherever you're hunting at. Then when you go to store your decoy, whether you put them in bags, whether it's a big mouth bag or a slotted bag or what have you, 
you just take the weight and all you do is just drag it up and there you go now this does a couple of things that I really like number one you don't have now this is a lifetime decoy so you don't have to worry about it chipping paint but <laughs> excuse that uh, that's my lab over there gagging on something but uh, it doesn't chip the paint it doesn't doesn't rattle on it as much and you just take the line, you ball it up and put it in your bag and you don't have to worry about it. It won't get, that won't get tangled. It may get a little curly, but it's not going to get tangled like others will. And there you go. Easy, simple. Okay, guys, I really hope you like this video. Do me a favor. Get over to the Waterfowl Company and to Duck Feet Decoy Anchor Company. Like I said before, they're owned and operated by a neighbor of mine, Daryl Newman, right here in Sumter, South Carolina. He makes great products. Again, uh, he's an accomplished duck caller. He is uh, and a great duck call maker. You can go look at some of his duck calls, maybe pick you up some anchors. They come in four ounces and in eight ounces. They're a really great product. And if you like this video, do me that big favor. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that big old thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. I sure would appreciate it because that's what drives these videos through YouTube. And if that YouTube is driving my videos, then I can bring out more videos, more tips and tactics, more product reviews, more hunt videos for you. And that's really what I want to do. So do that for me. It'd be greatly appreciated. Anyway, I'm Matt, and we'll see y'all next time on Daddy Duck 365.